Hey, friends. Susie Q from the Wolf Hunters here. Travis here from the Wolf Hunters. Yes. And we have a reaction video for you. Our social media links are above. The links below. In the box of the descriptions. Today's video is brought to you by Peter. Peter. Thank you, Peter, for sponsoring this next video, which is Bella Fleck and the Fleck Stones. Big country. Big country. Big country. Yeah, we got a special one for you because this can't be found on YouTube, suckers. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment below. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. I was waiting, I was waiting one of those teams that sort of just arrived done in my mind. And what I do when that happens is I call myself, I call my machine at home, and I sing the melody. Uh, oh, and I can't, that's I'm smart. Not, I shouldn't be singing in the first place, but it's just the only thing I can do. The, the melody is going to be gone. And, in another minute, and it'll be gone. And that's, that's the nature that of feels. composition. There's this inspiration factor, and then there's craft. So how do you take that inspired moment, and how do you make it into something that's complete and, and makes sense all the way through? That's the banjo, right? So one thing we can all agree on is that this guy can pluck that banjo. If I ever heard a guy pluck it. This is the kind of song that you like are, you know, checking out with your whole family. And it just makes you feel good and unity. And I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But it just makes me want to see my mom. <laughs> Oh, 
crushing it. Oh my goodness. Just killed it right there. All of them are crushing it. They are crushing so it. So good. So good. Uh-oh. Just jam it out, uh -oh. doing their things. Wait, what does this guy got here? Where is he at? That's what I was looking for. Oh, uh, I, I don't know if on this program if I could go back a little bit. I'm nervous to hit that button. Let me just, just do this. It. All right, here we go. Uh, see that go. red long saxophone instrument, but it's like a tube. Look at that. Let me tell you what I would like to see. If we took that banjo player just for fun, obviously he loves his own genre. We just took him for fun and we gave him an electric guitar and we took him to a festival and we said, get out there and just do what you do and played it. It would go down to history, I think. You know, I love this band of, ooh. Uh, uh, oh, we're not used right. to that anymore. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love how this band had atypical instruments, like styles of drums and horns and stuff like that yeah. that you wouldn't typically see in a band setting. Yeah. Um, 
I love how they were all together, unified, jamming out, like slaying their yeah. instruments, knowing their craft. And it just was yeah, joyful. It's so fun getting to hear other musicians playing uh, instruments that you don't typically see on a regular basis. And so that's super awesome. We enjoy that. Uh, like the hurdy-gurdy, for example. We love that hurdy-gurdy. Uh, we love that hurdy-gurdy. Uh, yeah. So anyway, totally cool. Thank you for sharing this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. If you liked the video, hit the like button. Stay tuned. More to come. See you soon. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.